Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 24H2 in case you didn't receive the update yet. As I've said in a previous video, Windows 11 24H2 has been officially released but it is slowly rolling out so you may not see the update for a few days from now but you can still manually update to that version if you want to update as soon as possible. So in this video I'm going to show you a few different methods that you can use to upgrade the latest version and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. First of all, you're going to have to go on to the official Microsoft website, which is Microsoft.com. Of course, you can search for it on Google or you can find it in the article below if you're interested. As you can see, the current release is Windows 11 2024 update or version 24 H2. If you are on Windows 11 and you meet the minimum requirements, of course, it is not necessarily to check if your PC is compatible using the PC Health Check app. But if you're running, let's say, Windows 10, it is recommended you install the PC Health Check app at first to see if your computer is compatible with Windows 11. I'm also going to make an updated video in which I'll show you how to install Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported devices, but in this video we're talking only about ECs that are compatible with Windows 11 and Windows 11 24H2 respectively. One of the first methods is to use the Windows 11 installation assistant. Basically, it is just an assistant that will automatically update you to the latest version, which in this case is Windows 11 24H2. You can get the Windows 11 installation assistant and when you run it of course you're going to have to click on yes on user account control as you can see in this case this device is already running the latest version of Windows 11 but in your case we're going to go through a very very fast setup which will basically update your computer to Windows 11 24H2. Another method of installing Windows 11 24H2 is by creating a Windows 11 installation media and you can get this media creation tool you're going to have to accept the terms and here you're going to have to select language in addition for example English and Windows 11 11 can just leave this enabled user recommended options for this PC and then click on next and from here you need to select what you want to do. You can directly create a bootable USB flash drive to cleanly install Windows 11 24H2 or you can get the ISO if you want. For example I'm just gonna create a flash drive click on next you have to select the flash drive click on next and the whole process will begin you'll need to wait for a while because Windows 11 will be created as a bootable USB drive. Of course pay attention that all the data that you have on your USB will be deleted because the USB drive will be formatted to create the bootable Windows 11 24H2 installation. One last method on the official Microsoft website is to get the ISO. So you can just select the multi edition and then you're going to get the ISO after a few minutes of waiting. If you ask me, there are two ways that I'm going to recommend you to upgrade to Windows 11 if you didn't get the update yet. Either install using the Windows 11 installation assistant or install using a bootable USB flash drive. If you want to do a clean install, maybe you haven't reinstalled Windows for quite a while, reinstall will basically make your PC run smoother and fast. Of course, you're going to get rid of all the bloatware, temporary files and more. But on the partition that you install Windows 11, you're going to have to format it. So make sure to back up all your files if you have only one partition or only one drive, SSD or whatever. So you're going to have in the article below more information about Windows 11 24H2. And of course, please check out the previous videos that I've done in which I showed you how to update using Windows Update to Windows 11 24H2 or a video that I've made about all the new features inside Windows 11 24H2. If you have any other ideas or if you want to see me make other videos about Windows 11 24H2, please let me know below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.